my whole point is, is to make sure that the public is aware that this practice is going on. We've got a buyer beware tonight for homeowners, particularly in developing North Texas neighborhoods. Nearly 100 people say that they were hit with a hidden cost after they signed on the dotted line to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars. My team reporter Ginger Allen here tonight with more on this warning. We are all ears, Ginger. Doug, we're talking about a PID, P-I-D, Public Improvement District. And after you see this story, you'll probably want to get out your tax documents and see if you, too, are paying for one. With homes and businesses popping up all over North Texas, Diane and Gary Owen thought moving into a new development in Denton, right next to their son and grandchildren, seemed ideal. Until... I opened up the tax bill and I looked at it and I'm thinking, why is it so much more um, than what we thought it was going to be? And the so Owens say they'd numbers. never heard those three letters, P-I-D. And I'm like, what is, a, what is a PID and why is it so much money? Shocked, they started knocking on the 150 doors in their neighborhood. They were not upfront with the information. I, I got probably over 75 homeowners in our complex just here that didn't know anything about the PID. Among them, I'm mad. I'm mad at the Robert Fillingham and his wife, Vanessa, who's a realtor. Neighbors came to me, hey, can you check out my escrow account? I'm like, oh, your taxes are way higher than what your account was set up, your escrow account was set up. So it was actually after helping all my neighbors, I was like, well, crap, maybe I should go check mine too. Here's what they were all discovering. Living in a PID allows a city or county to charge a builder to develop roads, water, sewage, sidewalks, etc. A builder can pass that cost on to buyers, and you'll see it on your property tax. Here at Steeplechase, where homes start at about $300,000, nearly 100 homeowners say each house was assessed nearly $31,000 for the PID, an amount they could have paid in full up front at closing if they had known about it. But over time, they say the interest could have added up to $40,000 more on their property tax for a total of $76,000. What's $76,000 mean to you over time? We would be living here today. The I-Team has learned DR Horton did provide this document disclosing the PID to the residents at closing. But attorney Rachel Corrala says that should have happened long before then. So you now have 100 clients saying this. And nowhere on the document, which she says was buried in a stack, does it show the cost. Anyone who's watching this, if you hear the words public improvement district, make sure you understand what that is and, and force the builder to give you the amounts of that, that cost. Randy Gibbons is one of her key witnesses. He also lives in Steeplechase, but unlike the others, he moved in knowing there was a PID. The former Corinth City Council member says he found out on his own and then sent this email to the builder's sales rep, assuming she would share the breakdown of the additional cost with future buyers. When you start to hear other people didn't know, were you shocked? Absolutely, I was shocked because I knew I'd provided that information. This practice has got to stop. Buyers need to be aware that this is happening. Do you think this is an isolated incident? I don't. I think it's probably happening all over Texas. I think as public improvement districts start to become more popular and more widely used, it, it will continue to happen. An attorney for D.R. Horton says the company cannot comment. Four of these cases have gone to arbitration, and so far homeowners lost three of those battles. One won. That's the Owens, who you just saw in our story. D.R. Horton is now paying for their PID. And now there are more than 40 more cases headed to arbitration because of this. So this, I mean, taking a first blush at your story, it sounds like a little bit of he said, she You're said. Right. However, at the same time, information we know is power. Just you sharing the story tonight educates mm -hmm. people on knowing more about the PID and what it is. Would you
you agree with that, that the buyer I needs would. to know and needs to be aware of it? And what's interesting is we both know about all the development around us. These are becoming more common because of that. So I think everyone agrees there needs to be more clarification or regulation about disclosure at the state level. Maybe that would be more helpful. Bottom line, here's what I want you to take away from this. If you own a home, go look at your tax documents and see if a PID is on your itemized list, PID. And if you are buying, you need to ask, is this a PID? and get the yes or no answer in writing. And then also get in writing how much it will add on to your taxes. I do want people to know this. We reached out to about 10 different cities to find out in those areas where are the PIDs, and I put that on our website. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh -huh. So some instant information for some people at least. Right. Awesome. Ginger, thank you. You bet. Eye-opening, no question mm -hmm. about that. If you ever have a tip or a question for the CBS 11 iTeam, they work for you, available anytime. You can email them. That's the quickest way, iTeam at KTVT.com.